$20,000. 20 stacks, 20 large. No matter how you say it, that's what's on the line tonight. Only a few teams remain out of 100. And now we have MLG Championship Sunday. If you are the best, you got to make sure that you stay consistent. You can't just be like, oh, I'm the best, and the next tournament slack off. So I never really look at myself as being the best player. I just think of it as I'm playing my best for the benefit of my team. When I catch fire, the other team should just set down their controllers because there's nothing they can do. I always have the same drive to win. I'm just a really competitive person. I hate losing, and I hate not winning. Here comes Ogre 2 to clean up the kill. Five and one. Here's his triple. Oh, you got it. Everything going right here for Final Boss. Oh, oh my, Danny, it's heating up, people. And the crowd starts the instinct chant. MLG Championship Sunday. Welcome to Championship Sunday here in Columbus, Ohio, the second stop of the 2010 MLG Pro Circuit. I'm Chris Puckett, and joining me as they have all weekend long, Scott and DMAC. Fellas, last night we saw some incredible winner's bracket matches, and today it's been all about the loser's bracket. Yeah, and look at the 13th seed Warriors, Puckett, battling back from the loser's bracket, playing an intense 11-game series against Triggers Down, winning that series. Now they're playing for top four. It's game five against Believe the Hype. This is crazy. Nobody could have predicted this. The Warriors guaranteed top six. They're playing for top four. But, Scott, we just saw status quo guarantee themselves another top four finish after taking down Carbon. Yes, yeah, status quo comes in today, takes out Straight Ripping, takes out Classic, and then they take out Carbon in a four-minute CTF Narrows game. Are you kidding me? This team is the real deal. They don't even need to land anymore. I didn't put status quo on my top eight, and I feel like an idiot for doing it. But, guys, now it's time to talk about our matches today. And we're starting off with the winner's bracket finals between our two champions from last night. It's Instinct versus Final Boss. And right now, Farouk is down on the floor for our team introductions. Welcome to the Major League Gaming main stage where we've got the winner's bracket finals going down now. On the blue team, it's final boss, Victory X, Fear Itself, Ogre 2, I Got Your Pistola, and their coach, Kill It. And playing on the red team, we've got the Orlando champs. It's instinct. Let's hear it for Roy, Elamite Warrior, Lunchbox, and Cloud. And their coach, Toei. Instinct. Final boss. Lock it up. Bucket, back to you. Thanks, Farouk. And you know, Towie likes to be called Towie. <laughs> Spells it weird. Anyway, guys, we got Instinct, Final Boss, incredible matchup. DMAC, what are we going to be seeing from Instinct tonight? Well, from this Instinct squad, you're going to see structured Halo. If we've seen anything from Instinct, it's the perfect balance between slang and that objective ability. Instinct is a tough squad to beat. Tough you, squad they are, Scott. Yeah, that's the thing about them, you know, is as soon as they get on a roll, it's hard to get back from it. And Final Boss is going to have a hard time with this team. All right, well, right now we have Julie Alexandria down on the floor for an interview with El Might Warrior. Thanks, Bucket. Now, you guys took the championship out of Orlando. How important is it for you to defend your title and take another one out of here in Columbus? It's really important to us. You know, we come here to win. We come to every event to win. And uh, we're looking to get Scotty his three-peat and looking to get all of us our first back-to-back -back wins. Now, you guys played Final Boss in the land leading up to Columbus. Do you feel that you have a good sense of what they're bringing to this championship right now? Yeah, I think we do. Uh, we're, not, we're not overlooking anybody, but, you know, I played better. All right. Well, good luck to you tonight. And Chris Bucket, back up to you. Oh, my Warriors saying he's played better. A little trash talk before the match. But, guys, they are going to have to play at the top of their game because we are seeing the best Final Boss squad we have seen in years. 
Yeah, this is the revamp final boss. We saw them critique their play style after triggers down, and now they're aggressive, and it's impressive when they're aggressive. Uh, final boss with Pistola, they are unstoppable. It's just too much firepower, and Ogre too. If he is your veteran presence, you have a good shot of winning. All right, well, right now, Julie is down on the floor with our Matador, bold player of Orlando, Victory X from Final Boss. Thanks, Bucket. Victory X, it's good to see you back here in the winner's bracket finals. You guys are on a really good run right now. You beat Carbon 3-1 to one last night. How are you going to carry that momentum into tonight's competition? Well, I think the main thing for us is just keeping our communication going. When we're talking, when we're getting into it, we're pretty much unstoppable. Now, I know you guys were really looking forward to this matchup against Instinct. I heard you guys say how much you were looking forward to playing with them. Why do you think you stack up so well against those guys? Um, well, early on, we, we landed them before the tournament. We didn't do too well against them, but as the land progressed, we figured out kind of what they were doing, figured out how we could play well, get better, communicate more, and then at the end of the land, we took them down pretty easily, so they should be in trouble. Took them down pretty easily. They should be in trouble. I quote Victory X. Puckett, back up to you. Thanks, Julie. So both teams talking a little trash before the match. It's going to be an awesome one, guys. That is going to wrap it up for our pregame coverage. Don't go anywhere. The winner's bracket finals is coming up next.